So last week I hit a snag with my Steam Deck. Whenever I was making the video talking about the games that seem retro but aren't quite retro, one of the games that I featured in that video was The Thing Remastered. However, in the course of installing it, I ran into a very specific error message when I tried to install it on my SD card. Specifically, I got this error message right here that says, failure and error occurred while installing The Thing Remastered, disk write error. But the good news is, despite this video not having quite the happiest ending, which we'll get to in a little bit obviously, I am a silver linings kind of guy, so I figured, hey, this might be a great opportunity to make a video about troubleshooting problems that go wrong with your SD card when it's connected to your Steam Deck. So that's what today's video is all about, is I'm going to go over the steps that I took to ultimately resolve this issue, and also just go through some other things that you might try if you're encountering some similar wonkiness with your SD card in your Steam Deck. And we'll go through these from the least destructive steps that you can take to the most destructive steps that you can take, ideally targeting data preservation and also, of course, functionality for the SD card itself. So with all that in mind, this is going to be a fairly quick video, and I'm going to run through these fairly quickly, but one of the first things that you can try is what I call old reliable, and that would be to just restart your Steam Deck, because it's a tried and true troubleshooting step, and there's been tons of times where I've had something weird going on with my SD card, and simply restarting the Steam Deck was able to resolve those issues. I know, it's kind of an easy step, and one that you've probably already tried, but just the same, I did want to go ahead and mention it, because sometimes when these issues pop up, it's easy to panic and forget that one of the most common steps you can take is to just bounce the device. Now if that doesn't work, this next step that you can take is actually the one that I use to restore functionality for my own SD card and to actually get the thing remastered installed on that SD card, and that would be to follow these steps. First, go ahead and switch to desktop mode. Then after you get into desktop mode, go ahead and open your folder structure. Then find your SD card under the removable device section on the left. Right click on it and choose to safely remove. After you get the notification that it can be safely removed, right click on the device again and choose mount and then wait for the spinning icon to switch back to the standard eject icon. Finally, go ahead and log out, return to game mode, and then see if you can install the games once more. And again, ultimately this is the step that I took that resolved my issue and allowed me to go ahead and install the thing remastered on my SD card. But if you do go back into game mode and find that you are still having the issue and can't install whatever software you'd like to on the SD card, there is something else you can try and that would be to repair your library. To do this, you can go into settings and then go into the storage section, select your SD card at the top and then hit Y for options and select repair library. After this is done, now go ahead and see if you can install the game that you're having trouble with and just make sure that the games that you typically have installed on your SD card are appearing properly. And finally, if you've tried all of the preceding steps and they're still not working, it very well could be that your SD card is finally on its last legs. But one way that you can verify this and the final step that I would recommend taking would be to pop it out of your Steam Deck and then put it into a device that has been able to read those files in the past. And if that data is readable once you put that card into a secondary computer, this would be a great time to go ahead and back up all of the contents of your card just in case your SD card really is on its last legs, at least you might have a shot at preserving the data was there and moving it to a new card whenever you find a replacement. However, if you pop it into the new computer and find that it's not readable at all, then yeah, this probably does mean that the card could be fried or no longer usable, or maybe just corrupted. If that's the case, as one last ditch effort, what you can do is put the card back into your Steam Deck and then try to go ahead and format it once more, which sure, it's a drag to go ahead and wipe all of the data from your card, especially if you have a lot of emulators set up on there or a bunch of ROMs or things that don't just get natively installed by Steam, but it still might be good just to go ahead and see if the card is still usable at all. So just like you went into the storage section of the settings earlier to go ahead and try to repair the library, repeat this process once more and see if you can do a format here. Or if you want to take it a step further, you could also go back into desktop mode and attempt to format it there to see if it makes a difference, but yeah, if neither of those work, there's a good chance that your card has finally failed. So now let's talk about that not-so-happy ending that I mentioned at the beginning of this video in relation to my SD card and trying to install the thing remastered on it. While I found initially I was able to resolve the issue by unmounting the drive and remounting it within the desktop interface, which did allow me to continue the installation of the thing remastered and ultimately play it, later on that day when I tried to launch it again, I started running into issues. Not just with the thing remastered, but I also tried to launch Lost and Random, which was also installed on the SD card, and found that it was just spinning and giving me some odd behavior. At this point, I actually tried to go ahead and format my SD card to say, you know what, I'm just going to wipe it and start over anyways. And when I did, I was met with a much scarier error message that read, format error, the drive fail validation test, and cannot be formatted. And then it went on to explain that the 
SD card had either failed out entirely or might be counterfeit, which I know it wasn't the latter because I've used it for a long time, but honestly it makes sense that I would go ahead and fail out an SD card like this because considering I put hundreds of different games on my Steam Deck in any given year for doing channel stuff, whether that's installing stuff, removing it, moving it between the SD card and the internal SSD, it does kind of make sense that I would burn through these quicker than the average bear, as it were. So yeah, long story short, it does look like I'm in the market for a new SD card, so if you have any recommendations of ones that have worked well for you, I would love to hear about in the comments below. And if you have any tips or just troubleshooting steps that you think other people would benefit from when it comes to launching titles, installing titles, or just having the SD card be recognized at all if you run into these problems yourself, I would also love to hear about those, and I'm sure the community would as well. Now as far as what's coming up on the channel, obviously I'm going to do a follow-up video talking about how to pick a great SD card for your Steam Deck after I've done some research, because that can be kind of a confusing process. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Kind of a short and sweet troubleshooting video that was kind of born of a weird problem that I ran into on a completely different video. So yeah, as always, thanks for hanging out here with me on the channel. I really, really appreciate it. Have a tremendous day, and I'll see you on the next one.